as Syria's civil war continues to rage, with the UN estimating that over 70,000 people have been killed and an estimated 3.8 million displaced, NGO Oxfam has highlighted the growing humanitarian crisis, with Chief Executive Mark Goldring calling for pressure to be put on Syria to allow humanitarian access inside the country. On the international community in two main ways. The first has got to be to pressurize Syria to allow humanitarian access full and free within Syria. Because if we don't do that, millions of people will suffer and die within Syria. But also millions more will leave Syria to come as refugees to places like this camp in Jordan. The second issue we're looking for is the international community to actually provide the money which is needed to help the governments of Jordan, Lebanon, many other countries to provide the care that the refugees need. Oxfam estimates that nearly 7 million people are in need of humanitarian help inside Syria. And the charity aims to help 135,000 Syrian refugees in Jordan and Lebanon by June, rapidly scaling up to reach 650,000 by the end of the year. The countries that have received refugees are struggling to cope, with Lebanon receiving over 440,000 refugees, many living in unsanitary, inhumane conditions. There have already been riots over poor living conditions and shortages of aid given in refugee camps in Jordan and Turkey.